Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his happiness with the wide participation of Bahraini youth in the first al Hair competition in the Maritime Heritage Season held on the cup of His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. It's part of the season of Nasser bin Hamad Maritime Heritage organized by the Folk Sports Heritage Committee. The competition will continue until October 27th. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said the competition reflects the keenness of young Bahrainis to participate in various local tournaments, which emphasizes their ability to challenge and compete. He also said the competition will promote the culture of marine sports heritage and enable the young people to adhere to their national identity. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said the season of marine heritage will contribute to the promotion of identity, culture and national heritage through its clear objectives to support this important aspect of the history of the Kingdom of Bahrain. About 180 Bahraini youth participated in the competition. President of Bahrain Basketball Association and Honorary President of the Good Word Society, Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended today the evaluation of the Best Voluntary Project Award that is held under his patronage under the award of Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa for voluntary work in the presence of the Minister of Works and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, and a number of officials. Sheikh Isa bin Ali praised the participating projects that reflect the national capabilities of the country's youth. He pointed out to the importance of voluntary work in achieving progress in the kingdom through meeting people's needs and present suitable solutions, pointing out that humanitarian work was always the approach of the kingdom's ancestors. He highlighted that the award has witnessed an increase in participating projects on a yearly basis, which affirms the values of coexistence that characterize the kingdom and was praised by international reports in which Bahrain occupies an advanced position as the best environment for coexistence. The Minister of Labour and Social Development praised the projects that participated in the award, which presented innovative ideas in different sectors, noting that the award has contributed in spreading and promoting the concept of the culture of volunteerism and highlighting its moral value as a national and humanitarian duty. He hailed the role of Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa in supporting the award. Chairman of the Good Word Society, Hassan Bouhazza, expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa for his patronage of the award.
Under the patronage of the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, Arab Administrative Development Cooperation of the Arab League held the first meeting of Prince Mohammed bin Fahad Award under the theme towards a better future for institutional philanthropy in the Arab world with the participation of a number of civil society organizations. The meeting included the goals of the award and the most important criteria for evaluation of the institutions and charitable societies participating in the award, in addition to the conditions and regulations of participation. This award comes in its first edition and was launched at the Arab level in order to develop the performance of institutions and associations with a human dimension. The minister expressed his aspiration to enable all organizations to take their leading role in development work as a parallel partner to the governmental and private sectors. He pointed out in order to achieve this goal, the Kingdom of Bahrain has established the National Center for Supporting Private Organizations in the Arab region in order to provide technical support, training, consultation and development of infrastructure in order to transform these organizations from charitable works with short-term social benefits into permanent long-term benefits. This seminar actually is the first seminar for the uh, award of Prince Mohammed uh, uh, bin Fahad uh, charity uh, uh, in the Arab countries. Uh, the, uh, the purpose or the aim of this award actually is to uh, enhance the charity work among the uh, institution of, of, of uh, the Arab, Arab world. Uh, as I said earlier, this is the first uh, uh, seminar. We have a seminar in Kuwait as well, and uh, Jordan and Egypt, just to uh, identify the criteria and the standards and the mechanism of, of, uh, of this award. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, inaugurated today the Social Development Conference and was organized by Star Charity Fund. The minister affirmed the importance of developing charity work and unifying the efforts of the government and private sectors in order to overcome challenges and achieve the sustainable development vision of 2030. Today's program is uh, very good because it talks about the cooperation between the private sector and the charity and benevolent organization. Their role on the uh, corp, uh, corporate companies to help the community and there is a role for the societies to deploy that cooperation into a useful way. We are very fortunate in Bahrain because we have got the, the support of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Nasser. In my speech I will highlight on the role of the King of how he picks up orphans, children facing difficulties, and turns them to heroes. Today's conference is a continuity to our three copies before. Uh, so this is the fourth copy of the uh, Social Development Conference. Um, this is the continuity which will shed light on the importance of the corporate so, or the social responsibility in the uh, charity community. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halil Ansari, held a working meeting with the European Commissioner for Justice and Gender Equality, Vera Gerova, at the European Union headquarters in Brussels. The two sides discussed issues of common concern in the field of justice and equal opportunities, in addition to the national model supporting women's empowerment and Bahrain's experience in the advancement of women. Al Ansari held a wide ranging meeting to introduce the Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa International Women's Empowerment Award, which was launched at the international level after the success of the national experience for more than 10 years to achieve sustainable development goals related to gender balance. During the meeting, the two sides discussed areas of cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union in integrating the needs of women in development and measuring the impact of gender-orientated mechanisms in the labor markets. And Ansari stressed Bahrain's interest in working with its allies and partners at the international level to exchange best practices and expertise in this field.
in accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to develop urgent solutions to ease the congestion and increase the flow of traffic on the network of major roads in the Kingdom, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning has started the development of the 41st Street in the Educational District of Isa Town. This improvement measures to facilitate the movement of traffic entering and leaving the area towards Sheikh Salman Street and will increase the capacity of the street. It's part of a comprehensive plan to develop a strategic road network launched by the ministry and funded by the Gulf Development Programme.